Hi, I'm Donovan Fondre with a jump start cooking tip for today. Yesterday I was watching television and this delightful, pretty hostess on one of the shows, a cooking show, was showing how to do broiled sweet potatoes. Excellent recipe, very good. But let me tell you what she did and when I want to tell you an easier way. Take a sweet potato and it was hard like this. You know, these are hard, they can slip off, and that's why you should never put your hand over the top because it could slip over and you could cut your finger. If you want, you can start the knife and then hammer it down this way, and that's a little safer. But let me show you a much safer way. Microwave the potato first of all, and then cut it. It's soft and easy to cut apart, and you can continue with the recipe. Now, what she did was cut the potato up, like this, I'll show you. Get it started and go right through it that way. In two quarters. Two quarts of water, brought them to a boil on the stove, threw the potatoes in to parboil them so they are pre-cooked before she was going to broil them. All right, that took about 20 minutes, okay? This will take me two minutes and then a couple of minutes under the broiler. Another hard vegetable that takes a long time to cook is an acorn squash. Conventionally, again, these instructions are to cut it in half, put it on a baking sheet, put it in your oven for 40, 45 minutes, take it out, take out the seeds and membrane, or you can do that beforehand also. But you've got a microwave oven, and I'm so pleased to see the purveyors of these squash are now sometimes putting the instructions to do them in your microwave rather than in your primitive oven. When you crank this up, this is a 3500 watt oven, but you're only when you crank it down to 400, you're probably at about 2500 wattage. Well, a microwave is 1000 watts, and if I do this for eight minutes at 1000 watts, compared to 45 minutes at 2500 watts, you can see the energy difference there and the saving that will show up on your bill. Anything like this that is hard, like a squash, um, well, mostly squash, any hard vegetable, not potatoes. You don't have to poke potatoes. But if you pierce them, at this point, they can allow the steam to escape and they won't burst. All right, let me toss this in this microwave here. And in about eight minutes, that squash will be cooked and then we're going to finish it, jump start it in your microwave and finish it in your conventional oven. So what I'm going to do now is to, I hate to preheat these things and you really don't have to. I'm kind of contradicting what my, my uh, lessons are in this. When things are hot and you put them in the oven, they continue cooking without preheating. And we're going to show you that when we do a, a frozen pizza, where you take it directly from the microwave to the oven without preheating. Okay, soon, got four seconds left on this, I'm going to turn the, temp the oven on now to uh, broil. And broiling is much more efficient than baking because it's direct radiation, radiant heat upon there. Not the same kind as microwave radiation, but it is radiation indeed. All right, potato. Just as soft and easy to handle as can be. So now I'm going to cut this guy in half. Look how easy that is. No danger it's slipping on my hand. And I like to leave the little end on here. This, this means it's a male potato when you have that stem on the end like that. Okay, we place it on metal tray or glass tray not a plastic tray, and spray it with a little bit of oil. Place it under the broiler, and then we will have our roasted sweet potatoes. Okay, <clears throat> you can do the same thing with regular potatoes, or anything at all that you want to roast. One of our, the plan that I have for you is to show you how to charcoal grill your vegetables, and that involves microwaving them first, and I do it right in a metal basket. Then you put them on the charcoal grill because hard vegetables like this, if you grill them from the time that they're raw, they tend to overcook, burn, and dry out before they are cooked through so you can consume them and they're tender. But if you pre-cook them, you just put them on the grill for enough time for them to develop that wonderful flavor of the grill and you have it with your steak or chicken or duck or uh, lamb or whatever else that you want. All right, these will be broiling and I can see and watch them so it's a total time here of five minutes, three minutes, eight minutes total. On top of the stove, it was bring the water to a boil, that's about seven or eight minutes, and then cook them for another 15 minutes. So you can see the energy saving in there. The squash, um, it's about a one pound squash. Again, 
It's difficult to, t to determine times for cooking in microwave by weight. It's a good start, but you have to always use your own skill to figure out how it's cooking. So as these are cooking and toward the end of the period, I can take them out and feel them and when they get soft, that means that they're almost cooked. So let me take a look at the squash now. And you can see, no, it's just hot and hard. So we'll let that cook and in just a few minutes, I'll be back and show you how to continue cooking that acorn squash. Okay, the eight minutes have almost expired. I can see I have about one minute left. I'm going to check this squash. Now remember, this guy is hot because it's been in the oven for eight minutes. And take it out. And see, I can squeeze and press on this and see that it's cooked. All done perfectly. Another way is to take your thermometer and it should go up to around 200 degrees and that tells you that a squash like this or any bread item around 200 degrees and it's done beautifully. There we go, 200. Oh, isn't that beautiful? How do you live without this instant read thermometer? Okay, now I want to serve this, but I want to finish it off with a nice brown color. Take off the stem and cut it in half. Remove the seeds. Grab it with a towel. And you can dry these seeds if you like dried seeds. Don't worry about that. That's the new bouncing tomatoes. Potatoes, rather. Tomatoes. Now, is that easier than baking in an oven for 45 minutes or what? All right, now our sweet potatoes that we placed in the conventional oven are ready. They are broiled, so we have broiled, rather baked, roasted sweet potatoes. And let me show you an easier way to do my squash. We'll put a little oil on them, nonstick spray, and then, this is really saving energy, we have here a propane torch. Give it a little brown for the aesthetics, for the taste. You've got to have a little bit of that oil or butter, brown sugar, anything at all that you like. Orange juice concentrate is very good in a squash. Or I could have put it in the oven like this and wasted some energy. So there we have a baked squash and roasted sweet potatoes. Done the jump start way, starting your microwave, finish in your conventional oven, save time, energy, and money.